Ask the Experts, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. There is new information tonight from the Food and Drug Administration about a possible connection between breast implants and cancer. Medical reporter Liz Bonus is here to tell us what experts say that every woman should know about it. Liz. Hey, Cammie, good evening. Cancer specialists at St. Elizabeth Healthcare tell us that the FDA just released an update to the numbers that they have been tracking related to breast implants and this cancer since 2011. The FDA has now identified 359 cases and nine deaths with this association. We asked experts what this means and what all women should know about it. It's a startling headline that says there is an association between breast implants and a specific type of rare blood cancer called anaplastic large cell lymphoma. We asked Dr. Michael Gunther, who is a surgical oncologist, to break it down for us. So I guess one of the first things that comes to mind is seeing a headline like this. If I have these in my body, what do you first want me to know? Bottom line is it was a very rare event. It happened in perhaps one out of 15,000 women with an augment or a reconstruction. It was more common in women who had a textured implant than those who had a smooth implant. Nobody needed to have implants removed prophylactically. It was done if something happened. So patients who are, are happy and fine don't need to do anything else. So this is not one company or one style of implant. So we don't think there's anything actually wrong with what's inside them? No, it actually was thought to arise from what we call a biofilm, which is a small layer of bacteria that were clinging to the surface of a textured implant, and then in that little microenvironment, perhaps creating some carcinogens that led to a cancer. He says there's some very important specific information that you need to know about the information found so far, and it's up to you to take that information to your own doctor to talk about your benefits and risks, and perhaps what you need to know for the future. Just be aware of the way you normally are. If you are consistent from one year to the next and your mammograms and imaging are all normal, if we still have breast tissue, there's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, one of the questions people ask is, what's the prognosis for this? What's the treatment? And interestingly enough, for about nine out of 10 women, the treatment was simply to remove the implant and the capsule around it. Overall, the outcome was that somewhere around 90% of people were cured from this disease. Now, women are asked to identify early warning signs such as pain, swelling, and lumps after implants. Share these details with your own health care provider. As always, your questions are welcome to St. Elizabeth Healthcare. Go to local12.com, click on Ask the Expert. All right, Liz, thank you. The FDA reports that it will continue to identify new cases and share them in the future.